Ezekiel chapter 26 In the eleventh month of the twelfth year, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, because Tyre has said of Jerusalem, Aha! The gate to the nations is broken, and its doors have swung open to me. Now that she lies in ruins, I will prosper. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says. I am against you, Tyre, and I will bring many nations against you, like the sea casting up its waves. They will destroy the walls of Tyre, and pull down her towers. I will scrape away her rubble, and make her a bare rock. Out in the sea she will become a place to spread fishing nets, for I have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. She will become plunder for the nations, and her settlements on the mainland will be ravaged by the sword. Then they will know that I am the Lord. For this is what the Sovereign Lord says, From the north I am going to bring against Tyre, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, king of kings, with horses and chariots, with horsemen and a great army. He will ravage your settlements on the mainland with the sword. He will set up siege works against you, build a ramp up to your walls, and raise his shields against you. He will direct the blows of his battering rams against your walls and demolish your towers with his weapons. His horses will be so many that they will cover you with dust. Your walls will tremble at the noise of the war horses, wagons, and chariots when he enters your gates as men enter a city whose walls have been broken through. The hooves of his horses will trample all your streets. He will kill your people with the sword, and your strong pillars will fall to the ground. They will plunder your wealth and loot your merchandise. They will break down your walls and demolish your fine houses and throw your stones, timber, and rubble into the sea. I will put an end to your noisy songs, and the music of your harps will be heard no more. I will make you a bare rock, and you will become a place to spread fishing nets. You will never be rebuilt. For I, the Lord, have spoken, declares the Sovereign Lord. This is what the Sovereign Lord says to Tyre. Will not the coastlands tremble at the sound of your fall? when the wounded groan and the slaughter takes place in you. Then all the princes of the coast will step down from their thrones and lay aside their robes and take off their embroidered garments. Clothed with terror, they will sit on the ground, trembling every moment, appalled at you. Then they will take up a lament concerning you and say to you, How you are destroyed, city of Renan, peopled by men of the sea. You were a power on the seas, you and your citizens. You put your terror on all who lived there. Now the coastlands tremble on the day of your fall. The islands in the sea are terrified at your collapse. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. When I make you a desolate city, like cities no longer inhabited, and when I bring the ocean depths over you and its vast waters cover you, then I will bring you down with those who go down to the pit, to the people of long ago. I will make you dwell in the earth below, as in ancient ruins, with those who go down to the pit, and you will not return or take your place in the land of the living. I will bring you to a horrible end, and you will be no more. You will be sought, but you will never again be found, declares the Sovereign Lord. Ezekiel chapter 27 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, take up a lament concerning Tyre. Say to Tyre, situated at the gateway to the sea, merchant of peoples on many coasts, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. You say, Tyre, I am perfect in beauty. Your domain was on the high seas. Your builders brought your beauty to perfection. They made all your timbers of juniper from senior. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make a mast for you, of oaks from Bashan 
they made your oars. Of cypress wood, from the coasts of Cyprus, they made your deck adorned with ivory. Fine embroidered linen from Egypt was your sail and served as your banner. Your awnings were of blue and purple from the coasts of Elisha. Men of Sidon and Arphad were your oarsmen. Your skilled men, Tyre, were aboard as your sailors. Veteran craftsmen of Byblos were on board as shipwrights to cork your seams. All the ships of the sea and their sailors came alongside to trade for your wares. Men of Persia, Lydia, and Put served as soldiers in your army. They hung their shields and helmets on your walls, bringing you splendor. Men of Arphad and Helek guarded your walls on every side. Men of Garmad were in your towers. They hung their shields around your walls. They brought your beauty to perfection. Tarshish did business with you because of your great wealth of goods. They exchanged silver, iron, tin, and lead for your merchandise. Greece, Tubal, and Meshech did business with you. They traded human beings and articles of bronze for your wares. Men of Beth Togama exchanged chariot horses, cavalry horses, and mules for your merchandise. The men of Rhodes traded with you, and many coastlands were your customers. They paid you with ivory tusks and ebony. Aram did business with you because of your many products. They exchanged turquoise, purple fabric, embroidered work, fine linen, coral, and rubies for your merchandise. Judah and Israel traded with you. They exchanged wheat from minith and confections, honey, olive oil, and balm for your wares. Damascus did business with you because of your many products and great wealth of goods. They offered wine from Helbon, wool from Zaha, and casks of wine from Izal in exchange for your wares. Wrought iron, cassia, and calamos. Didan traded in saddle blankets with you. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were your customers. They did business with you in lambs, rams, and goats. The merchants of Sheba and Reoma traded with you. For your merchandise they exchanged the finest of all kinds of spices and precious stones and gold. Haran, Kana, and Eden, and merchants of Sheba, Ashur, and Kilmad traded with you. In your marketplace they traded with you beautiful garments, blue fabric, embroidered work, and multicolored rugs with cords twisted and tightly knotted. The ships of Tarshish serve as carriers for your wares. You are filled with heavy cargo as you sail the sea. Your oarsmen take you out to the high seas. But the east wind will break you to pieces far out at sea. Your wealth, merchandise and wares, your mariners, sailors and shipwrights, your merchants and all your soldiers and everyone else on board will sink into the heart of the sea on the day of your shipwreck. The shorelands will quake when your sailors cry out. All who handle the oars will abandon their ships. The mariners and all the sailors will stand on the shore. They will raise their voice and cry bitterly over you. They will sprinkle dust on their heads and roll in ashes. They will shave their heads because of you and will put on sackcloth. They will weep over you with anguish of soul and with bitter mourning. As they wail and mourn over you, they will take up a lament concerning you. Who was ever silenced like Tyre? Surrounded by the sea. When your merchandise went out on the seas, you satisfied many nations. With your great wealth and your wares, you enriched the kings of the earth. Now you are shattered by the sea in the depths of the waters. Your wares and all your company have gone down with you. All who live in the coastlands are appalled at you. Their kings shudder with horror and their faces are distorted with fear. The merchants among the nations scoff at you. You have come to a horrible end and will be no more. 1 John chapter 2 My dear children, I write this to you 
so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. We know that we have come to know him if we keep his commands. Whoever says, I know him, but does not do what he commands is a liar, and the truth is not in that person. But if anyone obeys his word, love for God is truly made complete in them. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. Dear friends, I am not writing you a new command, but an old one, which you have had since the beginning. This old command is the message you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new command. Its truth is seen in him and in you, because the darkness is passing and the true light is already shining. Anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or sister is still in the darkness. Anyone who loves their brother and sister lives in the light, and there is nothing in them to make them stumble. But anyone who hates a brother or sister is in the darkness and walks around in the darkness. They do not know where they are going because the darkness has blinded them. I'm writing to you, dear children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you, dear children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God lives in you, and you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. Dear children, this is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now, many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belonged to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you do know it and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist, denying the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. As for you, see that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he promised us, eternal life. I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. As for you, the anointing you receive from him remains in you, and you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in him. And now, dear children, continue in him, so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is right has been born of him. Psalm 117 Praise the Lord, all you nations, extol him, all you peoples, for great is his love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures for ever. Praise the Lord. Proverbs chapter 4 
Listen, my sons, to a father's instruction. Pay attention and gain understanding. I give you sound learning, so do not forsake my teaching. For I too was a son to my father, still tender and cherished by my mother. Then he taught me, and he said to me, Take hold of my words with all your heart. Keep my commands, and you will live. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Cherish her, and she will exalt you. Embrace her, and she will honor you. She will give you a garland to grace your head and present you with a glorious crown. Listen, my son, accept what I say, and the years of your life will be many. I instruct you in the way of wisdom and lead you along straight paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered. When you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Guard it well, for it is your life. Do not set foot on the path of the wicked or walk in the way of evildoers. Avoid it. Do not travel on it. Turn from it and go on your way. For they cannot rest until they do evil. They are robbed of sleep till they make someone stumble. They eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know what makes them stumble. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart for they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Keep your mouth free of perversity. Keep corrupt talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet, and be steadfast in all your ways. Do not turn to the right or the left. Keep your foot from evil.